There is a complete refresh on the Apple Loops content with tons of very current loops and sounds for many music genres. I especially found the dance and urban genres were richly updated. If you already have incorporated Apple Loops into your workflow, you're likely to find some new surprises pretty quickly. This project has three grooves I threw together pretty quickly, all completely using the new Apple Loops. This first groove is all from modern R&B loops. These are from the chill wave and urban tax. And these are from hip hop tax. By the way, I was just using the option period key command combination to jump to the next marker and option comma will take me back to the previous marker. You can see the markers up here in the bar ruler. Most of you are probably familiar from earlier versions of Logic or GarageBand with these Apple loops, pre-recorded loops of individual instruments, drums, vocals, and sound effects all with metadata to automatically lock in tempo to your project and lock in key to your project if you select in the signature track of the global tracks right here, the key you're working in. This is the new icon in the toolbar to open and close the loop browser. And here's a few additions to the loop browser. Click loops at the top of the loop browser in addition to the standard ways to search with the tags by instrument and mood, column view, or the search field, here's a few new ones here that rock. In the pop-up menu, select any of the jam packs, remix tools, rhythm section, voices, symphony, orchestra, and now you can filter by genre, such as hip-hop, electro, dubstep, modern R&B, chill wave, and so on. That's how I put together these tracks so quickly. A scale pop-up menu was also added to filter major or minor and time signature. Three, four, six, eight. It might be time to experiment with modern day waltzes. Another handy feature while shopping that's not new, but more relevant than ever as you explore all this fresh content is the option to add to favorites by checking this favorite column right here. This will give you easy access when you're working on another project. If while you're shopping, you come across a great loop that's not gonna work for the project you're working on, but maybe later. Just click favorites. I'll add another one. And then you can go back up here, select the favorites tag, and here they are when you're trying to start or work on another project. Give yourself some time to search through these different musical genre filters of the refreshed Apple Loops content to get familiar with the musical depth of the very current new palette. <laughs> 